couple of things start out. This is the new garage or workshop. It's a two car garage. And see it's quite full of my shit. Oops, water softener in the corner we're going to have fun installing. That's another story. Um, I think I figured most of this out. The wood can go outside. Figured out how to build a place for it. Got a beautiful attic. And I think I can put a lot of stuff up there. Uh, like, uh, how, I didn't even know I had accumulated such a stack of tires. But we won't even get into the number of um, wheels I have. Um, it's like uh, so many projects that, uh, I'll talk about that in a minute, that that you, you start out with an idea and then you find out it won't work so you have to keep trying something else and end up spending tons of money. What we're going to talk about right now <clears throat> is these are all back wheels here. Oops. These are all back wheels, rear wheels. These are the two the set for the fat tire bike uh, that will come back around. But what I wanted to talk about with the wheels is I wanted to talk about that uh, idea of the um, the uh, wheelchair and uh, you see what you got is one side better over here better over here one side is disc brake one side is disc brake the other side has the spin on for the free wheel and um, the thing is all bikes have the free wheel on the right hand side but I've found that there are apparently BMX bikes have a left-handed free wheel I still don't quite understand that and my point being about that uh, let me see if I can explain this so so you have the free wheel that when you turn it clockwise, which would be forward, you turn it clockwise is the way they run on the bikes, then it's fixed and it turns the wheel. But if you turn it counterclockwise, it freewheels. It doesn't catch. So um, that uh, video I sent you, they were talking about their ratcheting action. That what they do is they just take a regular crank and they cut off one side of it and then put a handle on it and the person can literally just, I mean you got your long handle up here and you can push it and it'll move the, the vehicle and you pull it back and then you push it and so you can keep ratcheting right you know you've, you've even done that on a bicycle playing around I'm sure when you were a kid uh, so that would be if you're sitting on a wheelchair and you've got a tire on each side of you, right? And you've got the free wheel. You've got to drive each tire. And when you push one lever, it turns you one way. You push one other lever, it, put, it turns the other way. Um, but you want both the levers to be on the inside of the tire. So that means, like I was saying, this, this mechanism, this whole operation needs to be mirrored on the other side so that means that the free wheel needs to be on the inside so that would put it on the left side of the wheel and that means it would have to turn the other way and I found online left hand free wheels um, 20 bucks and that leads us back to you know am I going to just throw another 20 bucks out the window or is it going to be figure outable because uh, the, here's the here's the part that I haven't figured out yet is back to the fact that this is a right hand thread okay so if you've got a free wheel and you're 
turning it clockwise to lock. See, I want to put it on the on the right hand side of the bike, which puts the free wheel on the left hand side. Then when I when I lock it forward, it'll it'll unspin it. So you need a left hand thread here also. And I haven't figured out how they deal with that. If it's got a left hand free wheel, you know, is it is it what I'm thinking it is? I'm gonna have to break down and order the darn thing just to find out if it's what I'm thinking. Uh, so that is pretty much what I wanted to talk about, but I think I want to go a step further and put disc brakes on it um, because if uh, the, the, the thing is, I'm thinking of extreme sports like the guy I was talking to, what got me thinking of this whole thing is uh, he wanted to do high speed downhill. I'm talking about making videos of high speed downhill, and I'm thinking high speed downhill, well, those little um, rub against the wheel brakes that they've got set up on uh, those $3,000 bikes aren't going to cut it. Um, and you can't use um, a standard coaster brake, you know, a coaster brake. Uh, you, you push on it and it, when you push backwards it, it stops the bike, right? It was only with the um, advent of the free wheel that we're able to uh, ratchet the wheel, but um, Anyway, that's where I'm at on that, um, on the research, and I just wanted to give you a show to make it a little more clear. Uh, also, something else that comes to mind, I was searching for, and I've seen, is dual um, front disc brakes. That's very common on motorcycles. And I've actually seen it on bicycles. So what you need is a mirror of the um, brake caliper. It needs to be flipped to the other side. Again, that's another thing I have not been able to find. Because you can, these are bolted on, so it's not going to cause any trouble flipping it to the other side. But then you need a uh, brake mechanism that... Um, will be a uh, mirror of this which I haven't been able to find one for the bicycles yet uh, maybe there's some place I'm not looking or something um, but I know they exist especially for the front wheels and there's no reason why that wouldn't work uh, for this application so that's the two things mostly that I'm thinking about and uh, getting uncluttered here in the meantime uh, so, a lot of this stuff, this I think this whole stack of stuff can go up in the attic and then I'll have room to actually maneuver. I've got to uh, see stuff that was outside in the back shed uh, initially. So, even the metal and stuff and a big pile of empty boxes. So, that's all. I wanted to um, see if I could get some kind of feedback on that. Thanks.